Hey kids, this is Patty from Deep Space Sparkle, and today's lesson is a lesson inspired by George Rodriguez's Blue Dog. And here's a little bit about George Rodriguez before we get started on the lesson. George Rodriguez was born in Louisiana in 1944. While bedridden with polio, in third grade, George began painting. In the 1990s, George became famous for his Blue Dog paintings. Blue Dog was the result of illustrating a book of Cajun ghost stories. While researching a Cajun werewolf, or also known as the Loup Garou, George invented Blue Dog. Rodriguez was commissioned by the Republican Party to paint President Ronald Reagan and commissioned by the Democratic Party to paint President Bill Clinton. In 2009, George Rodriguez formed the George Rodriguez Foundation of the Arts to provide support and art development to children through educational programs. Sadly, on December 14th, 2013, George Rodriguez passed away after a long battle with cancer. So not only was Rodriguez really famous in the United States as a painter, he also was an illustrator and an author of children's books. And this is one of his second books. It's called Are You Blue Dog's Friend? Uh, Blue Dog became a very iconic emblem for uh, George Rodriguez, and so he incorporated Blue Dog in almost em every one of his paintings later on. And this book is just a great um, example, kind of a collection of all of his works. And you can see how this is George Rodriguez as a little boy, and this is one of his famous Blue Dog paintings. Now, as we're kind of scrolling through this book, I want you to notice uh, Blue Dog itself, and then the backgrounds, because what George did, he kind of uh, varied the background with each Blue Dog painting. So some of the pictures tell a story, and some pictures are just basically color stories. So here is an opposite color for, for the blue, which is the red. And here are some pictures of his Louisiana lifestyle, crawfish festivals. And here's a collection of Blue Dogs, and you'll notice how he painted all sorts of different colors in the background. Here is a picture of Blue Dog, and I love this one because he's quite blue, and then he has this fiery red uh, border around him, surrounding him, and then also the bright pink. So those are two color combinations that you might think about. Here's Blue Dog and the cats. We're going to keep on scrolling through. Now look at this one. This has Blue Dog with colors that are kind of close to each other on the color wheel. And the blue uh, goes really well with the lime green and the yellow and the dark green. So when you're drawing your Blue Dog, those are things that you might want to consider. Here's Blue Dog with Elvis and Louis Armstrong and, and Blue Dog in outer space. Now isn't that a cool background? In my student gallery at the end of the video, you'll be able to see some of my uh, students' works and I want you to point, uh, remember this picture because one of the students' artwork is inspired by this picture. So I'm going to close the book and we're going to start drawing Blue Dog and here's how to do that. So you have this handout on your table and it basically just shows you the steps for drawing Blue Dog and he's super simple. The work actually comes in the coloring part. Now you have a choice. <clears throat> you can work on blue paper or you can work on black paper. I personally prefer the black paper because it makes the chalk really stand out, really pop. But just for the ease of showing you how to draw a blue dog, the black oil pastel is going to show up better on the blue paper, but you have the complete option of choosing one or the other. So I'm going to start with the blue, and you're going to need a black oil pastel. So go ahead and find your oil pastel, and let's get started. To start drawing blue dog, you need to start near the top of the paper, but not all the way to the top. And we're going to be drawing the eyes first, basically two circles. And they're not that far apart. And then right below the circles, it's kind of like in a triangle formation. You want to draw kind of a rectangle, or a little bit of a rounded rectangle. This is his little nose. Then start up here between the eyes, and you're going to make a line that goes down below the nose, kind of curves around, and up again. And if you want, you can kind of enclose that just like that. So it looks like a, a big gourd or something. Now you want to draw a little mouth, just like that. And let's draw the, the head. So you want to start kind of at the, uh, the puffy parts of the little 
uh, nose and you want to go up and over the top part of the head around by the eyes and then down by those puffy parts again okay now his little ears are kind of sticking out sideways a little bit um, and they're the cutest little ears they just kind of perk right up and if you want to you can just you can draw the inside first of course that's too small and then the outside just like that I like drawing the outside to kind of get an idea of where I want to put it and then the little part follows it doesn't really matter which you choose now this part super easy even though it looks a little bit hard start right at the side of the head and you want to go out and then down along the side of the paper I'm starting to run out of room because I made my head really really big you might make your head a little bit smaller it would probably work better and um, whatever kind of foot you want do the very same thing on the other side and you can make a foot like that if you want to see now here's the fun part kind of decide how far uh, down you want the chest and just make a little bit of a line then draw a curved line to the bottom of that foot and to that foot so it looks like he has a really big chest and those little tiny stick legs and the very last step is just to draw the back legs and the back legs in most of uh, the blue dog paintings you really don't see them very well but he's um, basically sitting up with his back legs kind of on the floor and so it kind of goes like this his back leg is like that and the other back leg is over there someplace maybe I'll draw a little bit there um, you don't generally see a tail in blue dog but if you feel like drawing a tail go ahead and do one so now we're going to go start